What do you think is the largest living thing on earth? An elephant? Long-necked giraffe maybe? What about a blue whale? Those things can grow up to 300,000 pounds. That's really big. What if I told you that none of those things are the largest living things on earth? And in fact, the largest living thing on earth is a mushroom. Well, a fungus to be more exact. And to be even more exact, a specific fungus, the humongous fungus. But wait, what is a fungus? Is it like a mushroom? Well, a mushroom is part of a fungus. A fungus has two main parts, the mushroom that grows above the ground and the mycelium, which is like its roots that grow below the ground. Now at first, that sounds an awful lot like a plant, right? Like let's consider a tree. A tree has its trunks that grow above the ground and its roots that are below the ground. So is a fungus a plant? No, no it's not. You see a plant has one very specific trait that makes it a plant. And that's that it can produce its own food. It doesn't need to go to the local grocery store or find some berries on a tree. It's good. A fungus can't do that. It can't produce its own food. So it's not a plant. In reality, it gets food by just kind of absorbing it through its skin. It'd be kind of like you putting an apple next to your skin and just magically getting the nutrients from the apple into your body. Weird, I know, but that's effectively how fungi get food. Also, fun fact, fungi is the plural for fungus. Okay, so if a fungus is not a plant, then it must be an animal, right? Also, no. Here's the thing, scientists still don't really know what a fungus is other than it's not a plant and not an animal. Yeah, it's a fungus and that's all we got. Moving on. Now that we know what a fungus is, kind of, let's talk about the humongous fungus. What do you picture when I tell you that the humongous fungus is the largest living thing on earth? Maybe like a giant mushroom, right? Like a mushroom that's like the size of a house or something. That's what I would have thought. But that's not actually why the humongous fungus is so big. It's not the mushrooms. In reality, it's mushrooms are like the size of the mushrooms that you would see at the grocery store. But remember, there's two parts of the fungus, right? There's the mushroom that's on top and there's the mycelium, which are below. And it's this mycelium that's so big for the humongous fungus. Cause those mushrooms, they're tiny. And honestly, they're not there that much. They're gone most of the year but the mycelium is always there and it's been growing and growing and growing until it reached 12,500 feet long. And that's like the length of 35 football fields put together. So it's really big. Okay, so we know that the humongous fungus gets very big, but what makes it the largest living thing on earth? And I guess what I mean by that is, what is a living thing anyway? A living thing is anything that's alive. So you're a living thing, I'm a living thing, animals and plants are living things, and you and I, we are not the same. We are individuals, right? And so with the humongous fungus, when we say that it's the largest living thing, we mean it's the largest individual in the world. There are other types of fungi that are like the humongous fungus because it's technically a type of fungus called the shoestring fungus. And there's other shoestring fungi in the world, but none of them are the humongous fungus. Now that we know what makes the humongous fungus the largest living thing on earth, let's look at a few fun facts about it. First, like I've already said, the humongous fungus is a type of fungus called the shoestring fungus. And it gets its name because it looks like the shoestring that you use to tie your shoes. Another fun fact is that the humongous fungus is thousands of years old. It's really old. Think about how you are and how old your parents might be. And then think about how old that has to be. 
It's one of the oldest living things on Earth. Now, where would you go if you wanted to visit the humongous fungus? Well, we'd have to go to the Malheur National Forest in the state of Oregon in the United States. Although I have to warn you, you could go to visit the humongous fungus, walk all over it, and never even know it. Do you know why? Because the humongous fungus, remember, is mostly the mycelium part of a fungus. The mushrooms aren't there that often. So unless you dig down the ground, you'll never know that you're walking over the humongous fungus. Okay, now that we've talked about the humongous fungus, it's so fun to say, I gotta go. I gotta go find some more cool nature facts to tell you guys. I'll see you later.